Hi, it's me again, and the BBC not content with the 3.2-ish billion quid it gets from TV licence fees every year, it needs to save some money. How's it going to do that, you ask? Well, they're going to show even more repeats than they do now, <laughs> if that's even possible. Let's take a look at this, shall we? BBC line up even more repeats in TV schedule in bid to save money. It has put extra reruns on all its three main TV channels as part of a £1 billion cost-cutting drive this year. Now, if you hadn't heard already, they've said that BBC Four is going to be nothing but repeats. They're not going to make any new shows for BBC Four. Just going to repeat stuff on there because they're not interested in making stuff for anyone over the age of 40. They come out and said they can just watch the normal stuff. We're not going to make anything specific for them anymore. So if you're over 40, like myself, why are you paying your licence fee? They don't care about you. It's all repeats. But BBC One is massive repeats. What did they say over the Christmas period? I think 20% of the stuff on, uh, on BBC One was going to be repeats. And I think it was three quarters of the stuff on BBC Two over the Christmas period. <laughs> be repeats. That's mad. Mad. Why are you paying the money for? There was a 22% increase in repeat programming alone on BBC One, the National Audit Office reports. But despite the flood of reruns, viewers still have to fork out the £459 for their TV license. Yes, crazy, isn't it? Madness. Further cutbacks next year will probably mean even more repeats, the report adds. But National Audit Office head, Gareth Davies, warned, the BBC must ensure its savings plans do not further erode its position with audiences. The corporation has been battling a falling audience share as it faces competition from streaming services such as Netflix. It had agreed to find £800 million in savings, but is likely to hit a revised £1 billion budget. But I don't think cutting back on TV shows is the best way for them to save money. I bought you a story a couple of weeks ago where BBC News are firing 475 staff. 475 staff. So that asks many questions, doesn't it? One of the questions is how many staff are left? And the other question is what the hell were they doing if you can just wave goodbye to 475 staff? They need to cut the fat. They need to cut their offices down and they need to cut their amount of staff down so they can put more money into programmes. It's not programmes they need to cut. Programmes is what's bringing in your licence fees to allow you to have staff and offices. You need to cut back on them so you can focus on programming and earn your £159 a year because more people are turning against you, BBC. More people every day are turning against you. And this ain't going to help, is it? What are they paying for? For repeats. And it says here you know, competition from Netflix. Now, Netflix doesn't have that much new stuff on there. It does add new stuff. You know, every week it adds a little bit of new stuff, you know, but not a lot. Most of the stuff is stuff you've seen before, and it, if, you, if you have watched it before, it sits on there forever, doesn't it, so you can watch again. You know, but it's a different service, and it's optional payment. I know the BBC's optional also, but many people don't believe it is. Many people still believe you have to pay the 159 quid a year. Netflix, if you're fed up, you've watched everything you wanted to watch on Netflix, there's nothing new for you, you can stop paying. That's fine. And you can still enjoy other streaming services. But if you stop paying the license fee, you can't watch any of the other channels as they're being broadcast. The whole system doesn't work, does it? It's ridiculous. It's crazy. It just doesn't work. However, it conceded that 41% of the savings would come from pruning content and services. Another 12% of savings would come from income generation and 11% from changes to the scheduling mix. The Beeb is negotiating with the government on the level of the licence fee from next year, the outcome of which may increase the savings it will need to find. Yeah, there are rumours that the BBC licence fee will be frozen for a couple of years in a bid to help us all without cost of living increases. Yeah, because that couple of quid it would have gone up is really going to make a difference to a lot of families, isn't it? 159 quid a year make a lot of difference to a lot of people, wouldn't it? They just don't get it. They just don't get it at all, do they? And what else did it say here? 12% of savings will come from income generation. Why don't they merge all the BBC's commercial activities into one big BBC group that you pay your licence fee for, and then BBC Studios, which is profitable, would be part of the BBC. BBC Worldwide, profitable, part of the BBC. UK TV, Dave and Goldman, all BBC owned, put it in the BBC pot. And let all the profits from that funnel into the main BBC, and then when they hit a certain threshold, you get a discount that year, for your licence fee. Wouldn't that be a good way to go up until 2027 when we can get the bloody fee cancelled? How are they allowed to have all these you know, separate commercial entities over there that make loads of money, but you still have to pay 159 quid a year 
to fund the rest of the BBC. The whole thing's absolutely ridiculous, mm -hmm. isn't it? If you haven't already, I suggest you really consider cancelling your TV licence. You can watch pretty much 90% of the stuff you'd watch anyway without a telly licence. I'll put a link below to a video in all the bump I put down there, letting you know what you can watch without a TV licence. And you'll be surprised about how much of the stuff you can watch without a telly licence, you know. And try and persuade as many people as you can. We'll get the movement nice and big, and in 2027, hopefully this thing will be gone, and I won't have to make videos about it anymore, and I can leave you all alone. Although I'll probably still make videos about something else. That annoys me. I'll have to have a think about what that could be. Any suggestions of what I can make videos on once this is scrapped in 2027, please let me know in the comments below. And let me know your comments on this story below as well, and we'll have a bit of a chat about it as always. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.